Hey everyone, Decadence is really aiming for the stars. It tries to pull off several sci-fi stories, and with three different art styles interweaving with each other. But did it succeed? Yeah, kinda. After watching the full season, the series is uneven, both on pacing and presentation. Still, even though it didn't get to such heights, Decadence is pretty unique, and a breath of fresh air. The series tries to present many aspects, so let's go through the better ones first. Spoiler ahead, of course. Regardless of the intricate sci-fi, I think the heart of the series, Natsume's and Kaburagi's relationship, is where the cadence really excels. This little orange girl Natsume is truly precious. She's different than the typical protagonist who shouts dreamy catch precious. She tries to overcome many ordeals even got her arm chopped off in episode 1. Losing limbs is part of the protagonist's job, so it is to be expected. Decadence is basically a simulation run by cyborgs. It is MMORPG to them, but to the humans, it's real life and death. This is a harsh reality Natsume must face, on top of getting her butt kicked in many conventional ways. After a few good cries, she got back up and tried to leave others as well. Credit to the voice actress, she sounds fantastic, adding more weight to the dramatic moments and making Natsume more amicable throughout the series. On the other side, we got Kaburagi, the veteran and mentor. He's been at the top and rock bottom, just trudging through daily objectives given by the system until he meets Natsume. This is how you deliver sentient AI narrative. I've seen so many of this story, it becomes tiresome. But Decadence made me care of this little chippy cyborg. Kaburagi finds something to fight for, instead of being instructed on objective. He evolves, sometimes literally, from his time with Natsume. These two are the foundation of the series, and they basically carry Decadence. However, in an attempt to present so many themes, the series has some issues. So you have the usual animation style. CB for the cyborgs and 3D for the monsters. Now, switching between 2D and 3D alone is problematic for anime. And that is still true for Decadence. On top of that, it adds CB into the mix. At later episodes, they just clash. And I notice it becomes disorganized at some points. The action sequence here is mainly about aerial acrobatic stunt. And for the most part, it works well. Good camera angle and fluid motion. But when you introduce 3D or CB, the visual depth feels off, and at worst it becomes distracting, like two anime just collide with each other. I do like the artistic design though. There is plenty of bright colors and gaming aesthetic in this dystopian world. Usually this kind of narrative would have brown, drab color palette and overall depressing mood. While it does have some futuristic bleakness, the atmosphere feels light and uplifting. This goes a long way in making the series accessible. Unfortunately, the pacing leaves something to be desired. For the first half, it's fast and engaging, with a lot of high-octane action as well. However, it slows down considerably in second half, before speeding up towards the end again. Of course, this feels uneven, especially when it goes into GB cyborg part. The style is pretty endearing in the short run, but it just lacks the details. So around midway point, it might feel like watching bottle episodes from TV show. The other cast members are also a bit underwhelming. We have a few standouts like Renai, the strong female soldier, and Jill, the mysterious cyborg. But the rest are mainly used for reaction shots when something big happens. The series sometimes shows Natsume's friends, and we get a couple of heartwarming scenes, but that's basically it. Even Renai and Jill, or other main party members, could have been developed further. Decaden has a lot of flashback and repetitive scenes. Even a few minutes each episode, given to other cast member, would serve in the long run. It feels like a missed opportunity to show more interesting characters. But like I mentioned before, at least the main duo are good. For the action, Decaden has some good moments, most on the first half and a couple later on. The acrobatic gimmick is quite clever. It gives the feel of threat to the monster while emphasizing on dexterity. Sadly, it has the same issue as the pacing. The quality in second half dips a bit, but it should suffice. 
So if you're reviewing based on the merit of charm and goodwill, Decadence would score pretty high. But I cannot deny the inconsistent production. I think 7 out of 10 is fair point. I would definitely recommend Decadence. The series is pretty interesting and has its moments, but the various conflicting themes prevent it from reaching greater heights. That's it, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make free videos every week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.